Hey guys, hello, it's Amber, and I am going to share with you guys some tips on expanding your network. So my name is Amber, I've been in uh, network marketing for I guess like six years, pretty solid. Prior to that I had tried a couple times and failed because I didn't really have a great warm market and I really wasn't comfortable going after my family and friends. So uh, I didn't want to do that. You know, I didn't want to have parties and go to people's houses and things like that. But when the internet came out, that really changed things for me. And it made me, you know, more excited to think about that opportunity to reach outside of my warm market. So I spent a lot of time studying this subject and I have 10 tips for you and ways for you to expand your network. So, um... First off, I wanna say that you need to have a good mindset in place about this before you go into it because that was one thing it took me a long time to get over. I had a lot of fear about um, what if they accept my friend request or what if they don't or what if they do accept my friend request, then what do I do and what do I say and what if they think I'm weird and blah, 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 right? And you gotta learn to divorce yourself from the outcome and just realize, you know, it doesn't matter because right now you're not friends with them anyways, right? So um, you're gonna have to grow some thicker skin as you go through this kind of business and realize, you know, what you are doing is you are gonna find those people who you do connect with, who you do vibe with, and just focus on that, like focus on, the wins and not worrying about the losses or the rejection because at the end of the day you're trying to build a business and anyone that's going to achieve big things in their life is going to have rejection all right so just mentally try to get there um and not worrying about what they think and the other thing is that be interested in others and they will be interested in you that is how it works don't try to worry about making yourself a celebrity are making yourself out to be so smart or this and that but basically if you start to show interest in others they will show interest in you another tip is that I found that with connecting with people there are people that it just takes off with right away with conversation and there are people that it just doesn't and that um, you can probably like message 10 people a day and there's those people that it's like pulling teeth to get a word out of them and it's just not flowing and you're like how's the weather in Denver um, no, don't go there. Just you'll you'll feel that energy. You'll know, you know, how that conversation's going. And um, and you can try to be interested like, hey, you know, are you done with your Christmas shopping? Um, it's your birthday. How are you celebrating? Um, asking a question about them. And that's not just how's the weather. And try to do something maybe like off their page that you liked. And if there's nothing that you can find that you like, then maybe just don't worry about that person. Try to focus on somebody else that you do see something on their page that you like and you have a question about or you want to comment like, oh my gosh, your little daughter's so adorable. And let it come from your real heart. So, so be interested in others and they will be interested in you. And I've found this to be true so many times that, you know, you start to have a conversation with somebody and then you, your next post, guess what? They like, they liking it or they comment on it. That's how it works. So here are 10 tips for adding to the network. First of all, look at those suggested friends. So I have 34 mutual friends with this person. I'm going to add them. Hey, you know, a good rule of thumb I heard is if you have over 10. 10 mutual friends then try to look and see if you can see one on there that maybe you really know well um, and go ahead and message them and say hey I, I'm not sure if we've met before but um, I saw that we have a lot of mutual friends and how do you know Sally right that's a great way to start a conversation um, also another thing with this is it may tell you like 34 mutual friends and when you go to look at the third at the mutual friends you may only show you like 10 and that just depends on their privacy settings so just so you know what that's all about two at events when you're at parties weddings grocery stores the school try to talk to people i used to be the kind of person that would just kind of stay to myself or i just be on my phone in the corner you know you're gonna if you want to be in network marketing you're gonna have to network a little bit and you'll start to find that it's really great to get off your phone and to start to talk to people and meet people um, 
and she may find new best friends at the grocery store in line. You know, you see somebody who you really like their sweater, just comment on it. Like, wow, that's a really cute sweater or scarf or whatever. Sometimes you just, someone catches your eye, their energy or their, they look really nice that day. Give them a compliment. And what happens a lot of times is I'll start talking to people and then we'll have a great vibe and sometimes something will come up even like health related and and you can just say hey let me add you on Facebook like I really liked meeting you you just seem to really connect with me like let me add you on Facebook and grab their phone and and then type in your name and add them and you know what's crazy is people won't say no like people it's so uncomfortable it's so uncomfortable for somebody to like basically say no to that that they won't and I remember the first couple times of me doing it um it was really uncomfortable but I found it super easy and the more that you try these things the easier they're gonna get number three groups um go into Facebook groups pick a couple groups of something you're interested in. not a hundred not ten one or two and you're gonna live in those groups so say you're really interested in scrapbooking you could find a scrapbooking group. If you're interested in fitness, there's fitness groups. If you like a certain trainer, there's trainers. Um, if you like cooking, there's healthy recipes, keto. There's everything in the planet on Facebook groups. So find a group that has a lot of people in it, maybe like 100,000 people in it, and then go in there and start to um, talk to people in those groups. Just make sure it's not a group that is like something you're already um, that's like ran by somebody in your business. You don't want to be trying to poach people from them. Do something different, like something that's not in your business or one of your business partners. And what you do is you just start to, you know, interact with the conversations and the people in there. And then um, you start to really vibe with somebody in there, then add them. Go look at their page. Maybe they have a public profile. You see that you have a lot of stuff in common. Then add them and they'll usually accept your friend request. That's how you start to add to your network. Now, what I would suggest is you do, you know, three to 10 every single day. And if you start to do that, you start to add three people a day, um, you're gonna be adding 90 people a month. And and that's a lot of people. And that's more eyeballs on your posts. Um, you don't wanna be a spammer. It's really important. That's gonna be a different discussion. But, you know, um, it's really easy to start adding people to your network and to build a relationship. It's not that hard. It's basically you make a little quick connection with somebody and it's kind of like your friends for life when you have that connection, you know, when you meet somebody and you're, you're both, uh, have a kid the same age, you go to the same church. Like there's some kind of common, common, uh, okay. Thanks Christine. So there's some kind of commonality there that will connect you to somebody. Um, number four, Facebook pages. Kind of similar to the fa to the group idea. So you can go onto big Facebook pages. Maybe you have a celebrity you like or an author, a public figure, a brand. And, and um, there'll be a post and look for people that are commenting on that post. And you can engage in those. And then again, what you can do is add the person. And just, again, three people at minimum per day up to 10 and this is just a great way to do it I, when i started out my business i had uh, about 400 friends 450 friends and now i have 3500 and i've slowed down because i can't i haven't done proper engagement with a lot of them and so i'm slowing down not adding a lot of new people i'm trying to work on the people i have and building a deeper relationship with them so um if you do it right you had three three people a day and you start to have a little bit of conversation with them. It doesn't have to be long and make sure that you don't keep it too long. Like say you're having a conversation with somebody, you add them as a friend, then you message them and say, Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. Talk for a few minutes. And then and a way you can get out of this is to be like, it was so great to connect with you. Um, I got to run, but we'll talk more later. All right. And everyone has is busy guys. So people are happy to just connect for a few minutes and then go. So don't feel like you need to keep the conversation going on and on and on, okay? Um, five, church. If you go to a church, you know, you can actually go into their Facebook page or if you're on Instagram, go on their Instagram page and you can add those people that go to your church, get involved, go to a small group. Um, the, the, if you meet people in person, you are going to have a better 
a better opportunity to connect with them and a deep relationship faster. But really, if you're in a small town and you don't have a lot of places to go network, you can just do this stuff online. So maybe you don't have a church that you go to, but if you are into a, you know, a religion or, or uh, there's churches that are like, like Joel Osteen's church or something, it's like that's online. He has a Facebook page. You can connect people on that page. And... And you have something in common. Uh, six, at work. Hey, you know, um, I started my business with a lot of people that I worked with. And it was sort of not allowed. But basically, a lot of people didn't say anything about it. So nobody said anything about it is what I mean. Um, I was a pharmaceutical rep. And I would see a lot of doctors. And I would see a lot of the assistants. And a lot of them noticed, like, when I lost a bunch of weight, they're like, what did you do to lose the weight? And uh, I'd say, I did this program. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I want to do it too. So then they added me on Facebook, add them to the group. And slowly and surely we became friends. And so you can definitely use your network that way. Seven, go to your high school yearbook, get that baby out and start to find people. You know, the irony is that I ended up planning my school's 20 year reunion and it was thanks to network marketing because the only reason I started a Facebook group for my class was to try to get to know people better from high school and to grow my network. So it actually worked. I actually ended up recruiting one of my top business builders through that experience and, um, you know, people change from high school. Who cares if the popular girl from high school, like, doesn't accept your friend request. You know, the irony is one girl that was like a real popular girl from my high school, like didn't even accept my friend request. And then years later contacted me and asked me to help her with her network marketing business. So how does that feel? Feels freaking awesome, you know? And now she's looking up to me and we are peers and all that high school stuff is so over and we we're not teenagers anymore and it's really cool when you kind of go full circle and realize the stuff people grow up and they change um eight college go to your college go to your alumni groups a lot of times these people have they have facebook groups now for your college for your high school um if you're in like a sorority or fraternity you can reconnect with those people Create your, a nine is create your own group. So you can, it's a really great idea to create your own group on something you're passionate about. You know, let those leadership uh, skills start coming through. If you're really good at scrapbooking um, or crafting or painting or make jewelry or you like to cook and you have a lot of recipes, you know, you can create your own Facebook group and make it a catchy title like, you know, crock pot recipes or you know, crafting mama from home, craft from home mama, or whatever, uh, dollar crafts. You can make kind of something fun, whatever you're into, and and people will join your group. You can actually put some tags on that through um, when you make the group. You can put some tags into that, and it will actually generate the audience for you. Free advertising. So that's a great way to start to grow a following and to to actually get people coming to you. And so you may think like, how is that gonna work if I have a crafting page and you know, and then I'm trying to sell them collagen, like how does that make sense? But basically it's um, it's that you have a common commonality between you now. So that's what that is about. You know, you're just basically trying to connect with people and you know, guess what? If it's like a 50 year old lady who's kids are out of the house and she's crafting a lot. Um, she probably also might have some similar needs to you, whether whatever product, you know, you're focusing on, if it's weight loss, if it's anti-aging, skincare, whatever, um, you're going to have some sim similar needs there. And it's a great way, you know, do you exercise? Do you, um, like to cook? And these kind of conversations can lead to your product. And then 10, um, if you're single like me, then it's dating. I actually have gotten customers from dating sites and uh, some of the guys I even went on dates with that didn't really work out with, they actually uh, buy from me still. And so it's pretty funny. Um, or on the app called Bumble, they actually have a networking group, which is, um, which is if you go to Bumble and it has friends. So you can actually go on there and you can find people that are looking for friends in the local area. And so that might be just a good way to add to your network to meet some people locally that are looking also to make new friends and uh, 
So that's really fun. I've done that. And you can also, there's something called Alignable and there's LinkedIn. And those are some other new uh, platforms that are great. Well, they're not new, but there's some other platforms where you can really connect with people that are business people and small business owners. And they're actually always interested in, you know, connecting with other small business owners. So you can talk about your health business uh, if you do any other kind of like online health coaching or whatever. Um, then it's a great way to connect with people. And everyone really has a need for health and wellness products. So it's uh, really anybody is your market, but the more specific you get with your message and the kind of people you're looking for, the better. So that's why these 10 tips are kind of all similar in that you wanna just focus on one thing, one or two, um, maybe interests to start expanding your network too. So hope that hope that makes sense. So those are 10 tips. If you missed it, I see, I see some people jumping on. You'll have to rewatch it, but I'm gonna um, I'm going to also upload this to YouTube. So hope you found it helpful. If you did, please share it um, or add add your team members to this group, and you can um, you can actually um, tag them in this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.